CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. at the trailhead, so to speak, for Wolf Mountain. It is up there through the trees. So we're gonna take a little uh, stomp through the forest here. As expected, come up and a uh, forest service road closed for quite some time, but provides a good trail. A little bit better view of Wolf Mountain there. As we head up, this little grove of New pine trees in here. A bunch of little ones in here. And then look at this. A ton of them. Must mean we're getting plenty of water up here. A little ravine here. Looks like there's a road on the other side. I'll follow that away and see where it goes. Okay, going up this uh, rock face here is not going to be working for me. So I'm going to have to come around left or right of it. I think I'm going to go to the left. See if I can find a way up. Just got off the radio with uh, Rex. And uh, on the DMR radio. He's up in NorCal, I believe. So that's cool. I'll let the guys know that I'll be monitoring DMR talk group, uh, soda talk group, since I'm within the range of a DMR repeater, just for fun. I'm gonna take a chance that I can get up through that uh, uh, small ravine or whatever it is between two rocks up there. At least take a look at it. See if I can get up to the top here. I'll let you know how that worked out. I may have to come back down since I'm not really going to climb rock. No technical skills here. <laughs> so far, so good. That's where I came from. Difficulty was expected. That rock fall continues up this way. I'm going this way. Um, just didn't expect it to go for so long. I'm not sure I can descend this route, but uh, hiking poles are required. Good boots. within 80 feet of the activation zone. Oh, I'm in the activation zone, actually. 80 feet of the summit. I'm tired. That was a really tough climb. I'm gonna post it on the blog. Maybe I'll insert it here. <laughs> My planned route and actual route. As you can see, the planned is gonna be just a wee bit easier. But why do easy when you can do hard? Right, okay. I'm standing on that little yellow dot, which is the actual highest point here. Ah. All right, now I'm gonna eat something and then uh, launch some RF, maybe a little VHF off here into the DMR. I'll let Rex know I'm on the air. Okay, roger, roger. Yeah, that's why. I was just wondering if I was off frequency or it's you. Uh, how's that? Any better? Yeah, a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, I did a quick spin of the dial to get over here to you, and I didn't hit it right on you. Okay, thanks a lot anyway, and have fun out there. All righty, Gary. Thanks for being my first contact and helping me activate this morning. Uh, November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. Kilo X-ray 6 Alpha. Uh, Kilo X-ray, go again. Kilo X-ray 6 Alpha. Kilo X-ray 6 Alpha, QSL. QSL, you are, uh, I'll call you like a 5757 Newport Beach. Yeah, roger, roger, I got you 5-8 here, a really nice signal coming in. Hey, thanks so much, 7-3. Uh, 
Alrighty, uh, 73, this is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie on Summers on the Air at Whiskey 7 Alpha, Alpha Pop 032. Kilo 7, Golf Tango. Kilo 7, Golf Tango. Kilo 7, Golf Tango, I uh, got you at about 5'8". Thanks for the 5'8, you are 5x5, five 5x5 five five, five in Oregon, thanks for contact. Yeah, roger, roger. And I got a November... Uh, well, I'll let the station go ahead. Okay, Echo X-Ray. I'm sorry, I'm just barely pulling you out. Uh, stand by one. Let me go to Headcon here. November 4, Echo X-Ray. I got you at about a 3-2, 3-2, 3-2, 3-2, Robert. All right, I'm Delta 1, Delta 1, Charlie Tango. Kilowatt Delta 1, Charlie Tango, good morning. Hi, good morning. You're 5 and 7, 57, New Hampshire, name is Paul, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. I got you 5-5 five, five on the mountain here. Again, again, please. I got you 5-5, uh, 5-5, five, 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 over. Uh, thanks very much for the 5 and 5. Have a great activation. Safe to touch. All righty, thank you. I think you're my number 4 here, so I am activated. Whiskey Zero Echo November Romeo Zero, seven, five. Good morning, Martha. You just missed it. You're uh, contact number 5, I believe. Just as long as I got in, you're 5 and 6, 5 and 6. Yeah, roger, roger, Martha. I got you at about 5 8 here on the mountain, 5 8, over. Okay, thanks a lot, and 73. All right, 73, Martha. Have an awesome day. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie Summits on the air. November Sierra, 7 Pop. I think it was November Sierra, 7 Pop, is that right? USL and your 5 9, 59, Oregon. Might be overdriving just a little bit, over. Um, I'm overdriving. Sound like you're flat topping bit. Okay, uh, Roger, Roger. How's this? That sounds better. Hey, th thanks for the help, man. Have an awesome day. You're still five nine. You too. Kilo six. Okay. Hopefully, this is the last time you see me in this shirt. My luggage actually did arrive yesterday, but uh, this is still clean, so I threw it on as I ran out the door. <clears throat> Just completed Wolf Mountain. We're going to head over to Lake Mountain. Uh, I'm going to descend a little bit easier, I think, this time. Clouds are moving in. Hopefully I can get it done before it rains. Desummiting Wolf Mountain. This looks like it's going to be a heck of a lot easier than coming up this face. <sighs> Why didn't I do this? It's pretty here, too. A lot of oak. Trying to stay out of the new growth. Looks like there's a trail here right where I charted on alltrails.com. Uh, this route will be posted on there along with um, my track. I'm trying to get through this oak. And um, hamninja.com for the article associated with this particular summit. Actually, I'm going to zig around all those oak over there. And um, you can see how I charted it, what the terrain looked like. And you can think about how you would have done it. Come off this road, and I charted actually this trail here. Dripping vat something or other. Wolf Mountain, check. Let's head up to Lake Mountain. Uh, this is about a three mile hike. Um, all Trail says it's 690 something feet of elevation climb. Although initially it was just, it was 1000. So I'm gonna double check that. So elk, not wolf, huh?
Sit down there and take a take a little break from your. What are you doing in there? What's going on? What's shaking? I'm doing summits on the air. I'm sorry. I'm doing summits on the air. Summits on the air. And wow. that is where you haul a ham radio to the top of a mountain. Oh. See how far you can go. Summit on the air. Yeah. Huh. It's it's a geeky hobby that gets you outside. How's that? More like Kind of like uh, those geo finding those geo geocaching. Yeah. Same idea. Yeah. You know, it gets people outside. And I think that's good. Well, it pulls me into areas that I wouldn't have normally thought to go. That's very and that's true. what's so great about it. I was up there a couple days ago. Um, was she there, Lana? She was there. I, I can't remember the lady's name. Very nice lady. Yeah. Um, Lana, mm -hmm. That was her name. And um, then I went to uh, Whiting Knoll. Oh, yeah, where the fire was. Yep, and then I hiked uh, July 4th weekend. I went up to um, St. Peter's Dome, <laughs> which is right next to that. Sure. Well, That's a good little hike. Have you been to San Juan Mountain? I have not. It's the second one back there. The, it's burnt off. The left side is all burnt off. Okay. There used to be a road you could just drive right up and you know four wheel drive. Sure. That's a crater just like this. Oh, it's, be darn. it's a small lake, and uh, I could drive. I used to four wheel drive drive up in there, and there was elk down in there, and they never saw people, I guess, because we could just drive right really close to them. Now the fire was there, the San Juan fire. I'm sure that that road's all closed off, and you can hike to it, hike up it still. But that's got a tree, had at least a tree down inside of it in a water hole. Okay. That's a nice, nice little mountain though. <clears throat> mountain. Time, one, two. Captain 6, two, five, on Portland. This uh, burnt off one right here is called Pierce. So the one behind it on is called Sierra Gordo. And that's a Indian reservation. X lookout. It has a cement pad up there, 14 by 14 pad. Okay. Where uh, once this tower got put in, the Greens Peak got put in, they took it out. Okay. It goes straight south of me. Those two bumps, the bump on the right is the Gaze Peak lookout. Ah. Indian Reservation. Well, you got them all um, labeled on the windows, yeah, I see. Just give some people an idea where things are. <clears throat> Okay, I copy. Yeah, I'm eventually going to get up to Porter Mountain, um, which is this way. Yeah, it's a big one over there with a cinder pit in the front of it. Okay. I'm in service on the west side of the district. Great view from up here. Boy, I'll tell you again. That old lookout tree down there. That's why we're all here. And that's what it looked like back then. Oh my gosh. Look at that. They didn't know no beauty. better. Somebody said, you want to make five bucks a day? Or uh -huh. Built a little loft up in there. I'll be that done. one had a little loft, a little uh, place to sit. <laughs> and finally, 2003 and four, it broke, fell over. Sitting up on top of a tree, that's funny. Well, yeah. you did what you had to do back then. Yeah, the Forest Service was trying to get lookouts, and so any ridge, mountaintop tree that was prominent that would work. They uh, had people, thousands of people all over America creating lookouts and right after the Second World War there was about 5,000 lookouts. Now there's, if they're lucky, a thousand that are operating. 
the majority of them are just the towers, Doppler radar pretty much is taking over. Huge cloud right there. Oh. Yeah, that's a magna. Magma. I was going to go up to Wishbone as well. Is that that one right there? No, straight away there. Straight back there? Okay. Yeah, the one that's burnt where you were pointing, that's Pierce, and the one behind it is Sierra Gordo. That's where the old lookout was. Okay. So the one on right straight here. Right. Is, okay. Wishbone. It's two air miles from here. It's had several burns on it. Well, that's going to be a couple hour hike. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up there before the uh, before the lightning starts. Okay, just finished activating um, Lake Mountain. The uh, battery went dead after I got out of the lookout tower. And I need to do a quick activation because uh, big thunderstorm moving in. Looks like it may have stalled kind of over the big lake area. It seemed like it was getting close, but anyway. I'm wrapping it up. I didn't see any other. I saw one other chaser, of course, right after I packed my stuff up. But uh, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow, Saturday, I do a bunch of chasing. Is what my plan is. I gotta, I gotta pick the right peak. I'll sit up there for a while and chase. So, but uh, two good activations today, and uh, thanks to Gary and Martha for always being there. Charles today on both activations. Um, so, thanks, guys. I'm gonna go down and have an Indian taco.